Um, and so if you can get a 5% return on a government bond, you're getting a 3% real rate of return, which says, okay, I'm my purchasing power of buying that 10 year government bond over 10 years, my, the value of my wealth is gonna compound at 3% over and above the rate of inflation. And actually, John, if you and I can deliver that to our clients, a positive real rate of return of three or 4% over a decade or two decades, which is what a retirement framework looks like, we're gonna have very happy clients. There was a small period in history in the 1980s and 90s when you could achieve that, when we developed all this modern portfolio theory. Today, the real rate of return on the US government bond is minus 80 basis points. It's basically almost 1%. So if you buy a government 10-year government bond today, which is yielding basically 1.4%, um, and it's, it, the real rate's based on inflation expectations, which is where the minus 0.8 comes from, but you're basically locking in a loss in purchasing power of roughly 1% a year for a decade. You can't live on that. Your savings are shrinking every year for a decade. Okay, so that so-called safe asset of government bonds of GICs, of sitting in a bank account, anything earning less than 2% means your purchasing power is shrinking over time. 